electrophobia. Casey was late for school. She'd missed her alarm, again, after forgetting to charge her phone, again. As she attempted to run six blocks in six minutes, a rainstorm suddenly occurred. Great, she said, stumbling through the puddles. Just what I needed. Or at least, she would have said that if she wasn't cut off by 100 million volts of lightning striking her. Casey woke up in the hospital, feeling pretty good, actually. Energized. She wondered how long she'd been asleep. Casey grabbed her cell phone, forgetting it was dead. Come on, you work! She commanded, annoyed. Suddenly, the phone powered on. Oh, looks like it's got some juice left. The battery read 5%, then 10%, then 20%. That's strange. Casey reached for a lamp, but it turned on before she touched it. And so is that, she said suspiciously. On a hunch, Casey pointed at the TV and it sprang to life. She swiped her left hand and the channel changed. Casey stood up in her bed. This is awesome! At school that week, Casey used her newfound abilities to impress the other students. She jump-started broken cars, added unlimited credits to the arcade machines, and made the vending machines barf out all their candy. Casey was becoming pretty popular. Then one day, walking home from school, Casey suddenly felt woozy. She heard a beeping and traced the sound back to her left hand. In the center of her palm, a small yellow 10% flashed. Weird, said Casey. The numbers changed to 9%, then 8%. Wait, what? Casey asked, now worried. 7%. How do I... 6%. Where do I recharge? Casey began frantically searching for a plug. 5%. Or some batteries. 4%. Anything. 3%. Help! Casey screamed. As her vision went black, she desperately felt the walls for a socket. 2%. Can anyone help me? 1%. Please! 0%.